excitement on Broadway this spring. Those were just some of the 11 new musicals coming to the Great White Way. And there are five plays joining the lineup as well. Here with a look at all the best performances is our own Dave Carlin. Good morning. Good morning, Cindy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, let's start with uh, the musicals, Water for Elephants, based on this fantastic book, one of my favorites. And also, you don't have to be a pinball wizard to love The Who. So do you, Woody, how do you think those shows are going to do? Oh, they're going to do great. Yeah? I mean, yeah, there's something for everyone this season. With 11 musicals, the competition is just so fierce. And it's just, you know, great to see this many. But of course, that's a lot of competition for Tony's. We're talking about the ones opening in spring. So starting today, the openings. All right, so what other musicals are coming out? I think we have the list, you know, we're uh -huh. gonna show it, right? <laughs> because you're gonna see a list of 11 different shows and they are in order of opening. Water for Elephants, you see right there, followed by The Who's Tommy, The Outsiders, Lempika, you probably know her artwork, but maybe not her amazing life. That's an incredible one, Art Deco style artist. I think we're gonna keep going because we have many more here. Yep, Suffs, which is about mm. the suffragist movement. Ah. And we have Hell's Kitchen, which is basically the story of Alicia Keys at Manhattan oh, Plaza I in Hell's her. Kitchen. Cabaret reimagined for a new audience. And then the heart of rock and roll is Huey Lewis in the News, mm. that jukebox musical, The Wiz. <laughs> so that brings a lot of fun to Broadway. And then The Great Gatsby brings a lot of glorious sets and glamour. And it's followed by Illinois, which by the way, just got added yesterday. So it's like yet another one, and that one is gonna have to really, I'm gonna put this back in, <laughs> it's gonna have to, you know, yeah. Yeah, catch up. And there's then, so many to choose from. Right, and they all try to get in so that they can be considered for these Tony ah. Awards. All right, let's talk plays now. So the big stars are hitting the stage, and you actually spoke with Jessica Lang from um, Mother Play. Let's play a clip. Yeah. Yes, I wanted to do it immediately upon reading it. Yes, I wanted to do a new play. It was not a, you know, extended run, so it wasn't open-ended. You wake up in the morning and you're always gearing up either for matinee or evening performance. So it's, yeah, there's nothing quite like it, but it's also, also I mean, it's, it's also thrilling. I mean, when else are you gonna have that kind of opportunity? Her co-star is Jim Parsons. Oh, yes. Yeah, and then we have Steve Carell and Chekhov's Uncle Vanya. We wow. have all kinds of stars on Broadway. And she told me she keeps wanting to retire, and I let down my whole reporter thing. I said, no, <laughs> you <laughs> no, can't. No, she can't. She You're can't. not allowed. No. Uh, you know, but she says it's Broadway that always brings people back mm. from that brink of thinking they might stop. I, I'm so glad it brings them back. So what are some of the other plays that are exciting this season? Well, we have the list of those two. You know, it begins with Stereophonic opening, and that is a show that was very well reviewed off Broadway. It's set in a recording studio in the 1970s with a big, you know, band and the band dynamics. So that will be interesting because that one seems to be a critical favorite. Patriots is about Putin and Russia. Oh. Mary Jane is about a mom of a very young child. Uncle Vanya, we mentioned Steve Carell in a classic. And we have Mother Play, Jessica Lang playing a mom. And that show is, I'm told, full of humor, but also a very haunting sort mm. of, you know, difficult parts of it as well. That's Paula Vogel, who wrote an incredible play called How I Learned to Drive. So she knows how to mix humor with dread actually mm. so that that's the best kind of theater where you feel everything yeah in one show I'm so glad we have you Dave because you know whenever I go see something I want to see something who do I call first I'm like Dave is this any good what do you think so he likes everything <laughs> <laughs> so it's really easy it's, I just go you'll like it I didn't even ask you yet you like it Cindy you're a great audience member Aww, you're always you. there and you applaud the loudest and you get up first <laughs> for a standing ovation and so um, but you know we're lucky uh, Broadway's full of fantastic work yeah then it's right here all right Dave thank you so much <laughs> and uh, we'll be right back